Well, tonight, Black Lives Matter murals are standing proud in Patterson Park. This morning, five of them were ripped out of the ground and almost brought to the dump by city employees. Only on two tonight, WMAR2's Eddie Kadem talked to the artist and the people who went through all of the right channels to legally install the art and still had their work damaged by city employees. Angela Davis is an activist, author, and professor who was also part of the Black Panther movement. She's one of Jasmine Manning's idols. And she's still relevant today. So that's why I decided to paint her. And I wanted to show her afro, you know. Our hair is, I say our hair defines gravity. Black people's hair defines gravity. <laughs> and um, our hair is important to us. It's one of the 12 mini murals facing the Eastern Avenue side of Patterson Park. If I can use my talents to make change, that's what I'm gonna do. And to see it on one of the most gentrified areas in the city, people that don't look like me and they're appreciating this. Sharing their messages for everyone who walks or drives by. One of my missions is to share my artwork with the world. Um, that's why I want to teach because I want to pour into the youth that actually come from the same community. Thank you guys. Carly and Joe Scandora wanted to do more. This project was a way for us to take it off of social media and bring it to the forefront of the conversation and put it in front of a neighborhood um, where it can't be ignored. On Wednesday, they picked up their hammers and put the pieces in the ground after a long process. All right, thanks. Over the past eight weeks, getting all the proper documentation, the planning, the site plans, the insurance, and make sure everything's 100% correct and legal um, to set these up. Um, and then we set them up um, Wednesday of this week. Two days later, they started getting messages and pictures of park rangers ripping the murals out of the ground. They say the neighborhood responded and started protecting the installations. We ran out to the other murals that haven't been damaged yet and stood by them on guard until we could get here. A spokesperson for Baltimore City Rec and Park says they granted a permit and they look forward to the final installation saying, quote, unfortunately, due to a recent change in staff, a miscommunication occurred, resulting in the removal of some of the artwork. And due to the diligence of a community member, this was brought to our attention and the pieces were restored within the hour. And for them to be ripped up and thrown in the back of a truck without a phone call, we just want answers. We don't understand where the disconnect was. Um, and it's just, it's just really unfortunate. Brecken Parks also acknowledged allegations that one of the rangers who was taking down the murals had been reported for racial misconduct in the past, saying that's not reflective of their values and they are investigating. My piece was one of the ones that got vandalized and taken down. There's some scratches on here, but you know, just like Angela Davis, you know, it's tough and we just have to be, continue to work together and continue to do things like this. When the two month permit is up, some of the murals will go to the Reginald F. Lewis Museum. Messages of love, resilience, and power for all to see. In Patterson Park, Eddie Catum, WMAR 2 News.